One of the major long-standing problems in clinical medicine is blood coagulation when devices are implanted in contact with blood. Either bacteria or blood components stick to surfaces and lead to adverse outcomes in patients, either with blood clots or biofouling and sepsis. Normally, patients get treated with blood thinners to prevent blood clotting. However, this can be problematic because they have a lot of side effects. Those drugs are the major source of complications uh, in, in these patients across the country. And so if these surfaces that we've developed, we call them TLP, if we can use these to coat medical devices and prevent blood from sticking at all and thus prevent the need for anticoagulants, this could have a transformative effect on medicine. In a collaborative way, which is what the VISA is all about, we thought well, perhaps we can take something from the non-medical world. And Joanna Eisenberg was developing a technology called slips at the time to prevent ice sticking from airplane wings, for example, or oil sticking from pipelines. At the beginning, we hoped that we indeed can use slippery surfaces pretty much for everything. But it was this approach of putting together teams and thinking, can we really optimize design and create a specific recipe if we are to target blood clotting on the surfaces. And the environment that this provides for that is really unique. And so we got our groups together and did some brainstorming. And the challenge that we also had to face is that medical devices use materials that take years to get FDA approval. So we set out with the goal of trying to develop a technology that could be used with existing FDA approved materials. Based on the original development of SLIPS, we translated this technology to be applied to multiple different medical grade materials that are in the clinic already. We took those services and attached a very thin layer of perfluorocarbon, which has the same chemical nature as Teflon. And then we applied a very thin liquid layer of perfluorocarbon that has been used widely in medicine. And those two combined repel blood. To test whether the surface could repel something that was super adhesive. We used a gecko. Geckos are renowned for being able to hold many times their body weight by climbing upside down on many different materials. The gecko was able to climb up our untreated acrylic tube uh, right at 90 degrees just like you would see it climbing up your wall. When we challenged it with the TLP coating, before the surface came to vertical, the gecko slid down the acrylic surface coated with TLP. We also applied the TLP coating to medical grade perfusion tubing. Without the use of anticoagulants, we were able to maintain blood flow through blood perfusion tubing for eight hours. In the control tubing, four out of five clotted within this same eight hour window. This is huge for the field because it can be used to treat almost anything that you can find in the clinic, from blood bags and needles to catheters, syringes, entire bypass machines, or hemodialysis machines.